Hey guys, welcome to Small Mouth Crush. Today we're going to talk about lipless crankbaits, rattle traps, whatever you want to call them. They catch fish. Coming up. All right, guys, guess what? We are fast approaching our one month anniversary for Smallmouth Crush YouTube channel. It's been a blast. I appreciate the support. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave any likes, any comments on the videos, anything that you want to see in the future moving forward. And don't forget, we're still giving out this jersey, the Mercury Pro XS, go boldly with Mercury. This jersey is going to be given away April 17th, so in a few days. All you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel, like and comment on any video that's, that's in my channel, and you could possibly win this jersey. So we're going to give that out on Tuesday, so look forward to that. So let's get into it. Let's talk about rattle traps, man. Lipless crankbaits, uh, they're a great tool for me. I All right, guys, when it comes to lipless crankbaits, rattle traps, whatever you want to call them, there's so many different varieties out there, so many different styles. I have a few narrowed down that I'll share with you to help you uh, at least narrow it down to some specifics as far as what I look for in a lipless crankbait. Um, really, when you think of when you think of throwing a rattle trap, you oftentimes will think of ripping it through grass. It's a great reaction uh, bait for that purpose, and it definitely comes into play as far as largemouth fishing goes, and and ripping a rattle trap through through grass and cover. Uh, I find it very effective and I love using it for open water fishing. So I use it a lot in pre-spawn when the smallmouth are just moving up on shallow flats looking for their spawning areas. And it's a great surge bait. You can cover a lot of water, you can move quickly, and you can chuck these things a mile and really look for that reaction strike from a smallmouth. There's a couple different retrieves that I like to use and we'll get into that in a little bit later. But let's first start out with some of the brands and some of the styles and colors that I like. So when I think of spring, I oftentimes think of, of mimicking a red or orange crayfish color. That's just kind of a standard color and it works. So, uh, you know, why change that? I use a lot of reds and yellows as far as um, a lipless crankbait color goes. By far my favorite is a company that doesn't exist anymore, or at least I can't find the baits online anymore. It's called Excalibur. Um, I own a bunch of them, so I got a couple different boxes of rattle traps, and one box is totally Excalibur. However, I am getting low on some of the key colors, which is unfortunate. But I'll typically run two different sizes on the Excaliburs. So they make a XR50, did make an XR50, and the XR25. Uh, the 50 and 25 being my two favorites for this type of technique, searching for shallow flats for for smallmouth, and you know, I love these colors right here. These are two of my favorite colors to throw. And the Excaliburs actually make a one knocker. So it's just a one knock sound. And I'll see if you can, you can hear that. And they also make one with rattles. Excuse me, that's the one knocker. Where the heck's the rattle? Here we go. So it's a unique sound, the knocker or the one with the rattles. Both of them work. Sometimes I'll throw the knocker when there's a lot of pressure and maybe a lot of guys are throwing rattles because they're, I mean, a lot of your basic lipless crankbaits are going to have the, uh, the BBs in there and rattling. So I like to come through with a one knocker and just give them a different sound. Um, you know, it's just a confidence thing for me. But it's unfortunate that they don't make those anymore. They also make a 50 size and then a 100, this big magnum here. This is great down south. You know, if you're fishing Toledo Bend or Sam Rayburn or, you know, Lake Amistad or some of the bigger reservoirs with monster largemouth, that's something you definitely want to throw. I just don't throw it too much up here. Now, I also like throwing the Yozuri rattle trap. Just has a really unique sound to it. It's got a good profile. It's a well-made bait. It swims great. Of course, Lucky Craft makes a really good, uh, a lot of different types of rattle traps. The LVR, what is this, the 7? 
and then the Mini being the two that I use most often. Of course, Strike King, the Red Eye. Everyone knows about that Rattle Trap. That's a great bait. It falls really nice as well, so it's great for hopping um, as well as a steady retrieve. Another good bait, Lipless, for finesse fishing in clear water. I think Dual Realis makes these. I bought about a dozen of these um, at the Classic a few years ago and didn't really use them until last fall on the St. Lawrence River. And man, do they catch fish. I was actually just basically hopping this back to the boat. Has a really unique fall. Falls on the bottom and it'll stand like this and you just rip it up and fall. So it's kind of just kind of ripping it off the bottom. And the smallies were just crushing this thing. It, it's got a real good design to it. It looks very natural. It's a little bit smaller, more compact than some of the other rattle traps that are out there, lipless crankbaits. And um, I want to make sure I, I don't have the packages anymore and they're not labeled. I believe it's dual realis. I'm going to have to do some research on that and stock up because I'm in desperate need for some more of those, especially uh, if I get on another fall bite like that. So I also have a lot of shad, a lot of natural looking color, uh, lipless crankbaits. Here's a live target which look, works really good. I use this a lot in the uh, summer months. So once they get done spawning, a lot of times the smallies will move over to some deeper flats and a lot of times they'll start chasing shad, chasing perch, and they'll be suspended. A lipless is a great way to catch those suspended bass that are out in open water. So whenever you get fish that are actively feeding, if you can't get them going on top, so if, it's, if you can't get them going on a spook or a pop bar or something like that, and if they are still busting and you can see the area that they're in, or if you go over with your electronics and find the bait fish and, and see, the, uh, see the fish down there, um, it's a good time to pull out a lipless crankbait and just run that through at that depth and try to uh, see if you can get a reaction bite on those fish. Oftentimes you can. All right, so I'm going to take you guys out on the water. I'm going to be throwing a uh, Excalibur, the XR50, one knocker. And I'm going to go through a couple different retrieves for you and show you how I work that bait back to the boat. Eight foot or shallow or flat with some good rock. It's hard to beat a rattle trap, especially this color right here. It's one of my go-to colors this time of year. Small mouth crush, baby. First smallie of the year for small mouth crush. I love throwing rattle traps for big small mouth. And I really love throwing a rattle trap in the springtime, pre-spawn. I like to find a shallow flat, 10 feet or less. Six to eight seems to be ideal for me. And with a little bit of rock. And I'll basically use three different types of retrieve. So I'll throw the rattle trap on a crankbait rod, like one you throw like a DT6 or a smaller uh, crankbait, you want a real good flexible rod that's going to be giving enough to be able to keep those hooks pinned in that fish. Uh, I, I throw most of my rattle traps with triple grips on them and the longer rod will also help for a real long cast so you can cover a lot of water. But I'll just cast it out and I'll start, especially, you know, for instance, it's 52 degree water temp. I'll use a medium retrieve and just keep that rod up and bring that back to the boat. Now I'll also do a pumping motion. So I'll pump the bait and let it fall on slack line, reel up the slack, and sometimes that can trigger some fish. And then I also like to just drag a rattle trap. So picture using a Carolina rig. That's pretty much what I do is I just drag it, I reel up the slack. Drag, reel up the slack. 
So I experiment with those three types of retrieves and then of course how fast or how slow really dictates what the fish are doing, the water temps, things like that. When I'm throwing a rattle trap in open water, I prefer 10 to 12 pound test fluorocarbon. And I'm just covering this area here, searching for some fish. The wind kind of picked up. What's really nice are these power poles back here. I'm in, um, I'm in eight and a half feet of water I'm able to hold and not blow through this spot, you know, real quick. And also not having to hit the trolling motor is a real key to be quiet on these flats and be able to work your bait and hit the whole area before you move on. All right, guys, there you have it. I'm going to be throwing a rattle trap a lot this year. Hope to get some really good fish catches for you guys. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments below. What kind of lipless crankbait do you like to throw? Where can I find some more Excaliburs? I don't know. Until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.